A lot of industries over a long period of time worldwide have invested in this type of work because it is actually demonstrated to have a financial benefit. We had large issues with unwanted bugs in the raspberry crops and the insect have actually halved the amount of unwanted pests in the crop. So the bottom line is that the um, farms become much more easy to manage, less cost involved with the pesticides. This is the main insectary through here. And as you can see, it's acting as a windbreak for the property. And so we've got eucalypts growing through here as our upper story. I've then also got these taller plants that you can see starting to grow is Basaria spinosa, which is going to be the middle story. And then there's interplanted from that, there's a lot of ground covers that are all flowering plants. So most of these plants through here are high pollinating, high nectar producing flowers, some of which are in flower at the moment. So if we take a bit of a walk and we'll have a look at some of those flowering plants, you can sort of see that you've got the windbreak starting to form. And we've also got these beautiful plants that are just starting to flower for us now. So this one here is a ground cover, it's a native violet. We've got some salt bush through here, which in other parts we've actually got producing berries at the moment. You can see it's a nice matting ground cover. This is the middle story, the sweet basaria that I was talking about. It's starting to get quite tall. And here you can see we've got quite a nice um, cut leaf daisy, which is um, in full flower at the moment. So you can see that that's got quite a nice array of flowers on it, which are obviously high nectar producing and pollen producing. So it's going to attract both pollinator insects and your beneficial insects. And so we've got a, this wide diversity of native vegetation that we've planted through this windbreak and that's replicated in smaller plots around the property which are no, more, no bigger than a garden bed. So it doesn't matter what size, if you've got the space and you want to put a windbreak in, you can, or you can do much smaller plantings, just scaling down the amount of plants that you put through. Abundance of parasitoids, which are um, great controllers. They parasitise caterpillars and insect eggs and so on. Many, many spiders, lots of ladybird beetles, which are not only, of course, visually desirable, but they're larvae are predators of pest insects. We've found many spiders, which everyone knows are predators. We've found, um, and, and in the terms of the diversity, we've found a range of beetles, maybe 15 different um, families of beetles performing multiple, multiple ro roles. It's been, been really fantastic. All native plants, they draw the insects out of the bush, down the back there, and it's worked really well for us.